all right in order to in order to to do this one she's just gonna have to be prayerful I'm gonna say it takes real muscle muscle to, to accomplish this task real I believe it should be systematic, you know, from the time that they announced that it's going to take place, that, 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 that you know, the whole Palestine thing, that, that, that there should be peace, there should be grounds, there should be, you know, uh, nations backing it, and in and, and so doing, that, that uh, there should be uh, grounds on the earth or on the planet that just are not uh, up for 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 conquests or they're not up for for war prizes they're not up for anything these are sacred grounds to certain people it's just as if you know someone captured mecca you see what i'm saying you follow where i'm coming from you can't how you gonna turn that into you know a war prize no certain grounds but the reason why I say it takes a real Muslim to do this is because the Quran, the, 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 the holy books, both of them say that the land belongs to the Jews. That's, I mean, how do you uh, come to, I understand people live there. I say the Jews should pay whatever, wherever they want to go wherever they want to and they should be bound by the agreement the, the, no war no none of that and that they have to pay and, and i based that upon uh when david purchased the field from a ruin nah, and he said i i will not take this field for naught even though he was the king he could have got it for free i mean he could have took it and the man offered it to him. He said, no, I, I mean, the Jews need to at least have the, the, the David decency to, to purchase back. I mean, how could you purchase back where Solomon knew, where the, the temple was filled with smoke? There is no history in Islam where God has actually manifested himself, where Allah has actually came down and manifested himself inside of his house except for in the Jewish uh, temple that Solomon built. So, I mean, you can't, you know, it's just not right. I say those should be the grounds that they should have to pay for it and that that should be it. And no more should it ever be in the hands of anybody else. Now, you can come live there and do business there according to the book, you know. But after that, I mean, I mean, they can't, no. According to the book, do it everything according to the book. Like I said, from the time that it's announced, there should be a 70 year period. There should be a 70 year period that the people know. And then after that 70 year period, there should be uh, some kind of, if they don't leave before, there should be some, some kind of exodus where, where if you're not of that descent, then you have to leave. You can buy back in and get them to owe you some money or whatever and, and get back in for 70 years, but a 70-year cycle. Back to the 70-year cycle. And there's peace. From the time that it's, you, there's peace in, in all the United Nations or whatever, they should back it. Like, look, these are certain grounds sacred to these people for reasons of faith. Therefore, we're not going to bother it for war prizes or anything. Point blank, peace in the Middle East.